Welcome everyone. Uh, good afternoon. I hope you all are doing great and you are free to follow any screen you want. If you, it depends on where you're sitting, so it's all good. And I hope those who joined via Zoom, a few did. Um, I mean, now let's not be roaming around all the screens. It's fine. You can follow anyone. Yeah. And those who joined via screen, they can uh, see that one. Yeah. So, welcome to the course. Uh, today is the first in person class we are having. And I hope you'll enjoy this journey. Let's get to know each other again because I might not know the face, but I surely know the name uh, just in a few seconds. Briefly. Adidas. Adidas. Ilin. Brenda. Brenda. Akshay. Akshay. Hirudini. Chihau. Katie. Aruna. Sure. Shavan. Hi, Shavan. Uh, Delhi. Am I pronouncing it right? Yes. Okay. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and that's fine. Yeah. So let's begin. Today, uh, it's kind of a continuation of what we did yesterday. So we performed an impromptu task. We attempted uh, a summarization of an article. And today, we'll get to know what we expect in summarization whenever we are reading resources or data or previous articles, research papers, or scholarly uh, things. So before I lecture on the elements we expect for adults and for grad students, I mean, it's better to organize the pedagogy in a performative way. So we see some samples, for instance, we go to page 206, uh, if you type in that box, there's a box here. You can just type 206, it will directly take you to the page. And if you have a hard copy of the book, that's also fine. Then the page number would be different, 194. Awesome. Let me double check. Yes, for hard copy, it's 194. So we see four samples, if I'm not wrong. As far as I remember, there are four sample summarizations. Right? We all are on the page. In per user, page 206, if you type on the box, it will take you to the summarization page. You all could get there? Yeah? Nice. Anyone who needs more time to get there, we can wait, that's fine. If you go to per user, you could see that. Uh, let me show you how we get there. A few might be finding it a little bit. So, this is lecture three, where we are today. So, if you click here, click open, it will pop up. We're good? So, this task two, where we have already four samples of summaries of one text. Now, we don't know the text, right? There are five? Oh, so five, yeah, we have five samples, four or five. I'm sorry, thank you for correcting me. Yeah, so we have five samples here of one article and we don't know the article. Now, what we will do together, we'll try to find out which one we like. If you scroll up the previous pages, you'll see the main text, which is on page number and you don't have to scan it, you can skim it because that's not the task. So I'm repeating, this article, caffeinated energy drinks a growing problem. So let's say this is a sample article. And a few students summarized those five samples or summaries. We'll only discuss what are the problems in those summaries. What did they miss? Or what they oversaid? Or are there any articles there that we like or we do not like and why? So we'll discuss those things in class and in groups. I'll divide the class in groups and then we'll have a discussion among each other and then we'll discuss together. Okay? But before that, definitely reading the summaries, you need to read at least skim through the main article. So what the main text is. Just skim through it, do not scan. We understand the difference between skimming and scanning? Yeah? 
Scanning means looking for particular data, reading sentence by sentence, word by word. Scan skimming is not. It's just overviewing the topic sentence. So it's kind of a glimpse reading. Good. So let's take a few minutes. Just skim through this. This is on page 202. If you type on that box, page 202, it will take you there. After that, have a look at those five samples. And let's see what are the problems or good things in those summaries. Let me also say why we are doing it. Because if you click here in the module section in Canvas, evaluating summarization, you'll see all of your summaries there. After learning from those samples what we should do and should not do in summary, we will give feedback to each other on our summaries that we performed yesterday. Good? That's the purpose. So let's get back. I'm not giving in time restriction. Whenever you're done, let me know. We'll discuss it again. Hello, do you want me to brief you again? Sure. Can you get the briefing now? No. Okay, sure. Are you comfortable there or you wanna? Yeah, I will continue. Okay, cool, sure. So, um, figure out how the devices have up. You've got green stuff there. Do you have your devices? No. <laughs> then you can relax me. Okay. Yeah, because everything is in Canvas. All right, all right, all right. I need my phone. Sure. You have a book. If you don't have a device, please read the hard copy of the book. Okay. Make sense? Then you don't need a device, you can write on the keyboard. Thank you.
computer right now, we are trying to understand the features we expect in a submarine. Before giving you feedback, we'll do some good discussions today how a submarine can do things. Yeah. So this is a uh, passage. Uh, Captain Lee is going to begin a sample passage. And it's we have summaries here as well of this passage. Make sense? Yeah. We have five samples. Yeah. Yeah. We choose which one we like. First task is we seem through that main passage and then have a look at those five sample summaries and then we'll discuss together. And I would request while discussing, you might have to join the crowd. Yeah. Right, basically that way. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Have we done? Nice. Done? Wow. Pretty fast and pretty improved. Uh, how many, uh, how much time should I allocate for this? Five more minutes? We all will be done by then? Perfect. You're free to volunteer any comments that you want to write in perusal, but it's not mandatory. It's not a writing task. We'll discuss together. Just making it clear.
Are we done? Then whatever our observations are, can we share it with the person beside us? So, or let it be a group of three. I mean, three members in a group. Then otherwise one would be left out in this first row. Uh, in the second row, same, three. Here you can have two groups. Yeah, you, you can go on that and or whatever way. Yeah. Listening is all, all super formal. <laughs> <laughs> Not all is reading. Alright, so let's go. Why two? Why two? Yeah. Why two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why two? 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 So, I don't know. But, so, do you want to ask the to Yeah, yeah. But Georgia was like sort of narrowing down the line. It was a bubble. Yeah, yeah. And I can because it has a lot of numbers and it has kind of like contrast to how big it is. Yeah, so what we would have two of my things before, but I have yeah, so oh, okay. it and the reason why you put two oh, was the reason why I was, I was going with two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was when I got to four, I realized that it was more like it was not a really specific bit number mm -hmm. according to this one, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
I'm one leg into two now. Are we done? So fast, nice. <laughs> what, what about the others? <laughs> two more minutes? Do you guys need two more minutes or we all can Brenda, start and discuss Brenda. right now? How do you spell it? Oh, we all are done? No. We are done. D A. B R A. You have questions. Yeah, are you done? Are you done discussing among each other? All of you. Let's start. So, first question uh, for all of you is Group one, which one you like among the five? So, uh, we at the beginning we had different opinions, we had different picks, but now we we have 2.5. Which one? With two, 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 two. and the really 0 0.5 with four. So, also four? Just 0 0.5 out of three. Okay, so. This has the majority, yes, yes. let's say. Yes. Oh, group two, which one do you like? Four and five. Four and five? So maybe like, okay, gotcha, group two. Let's say group three, Shravan's group, yeah. And the third? The third one? <laughs> I like this. You know, that's that's the magic of it. I like this. <laughs> that's the beauty of diversity we have. Please, group four. Yeah. Three and four, three, four. Oh, now three and four. <laughs> <laughs> so no one agrees with the first one. That's the one conclusion we can come up with. Sure. So let's discuss why not. First problem. Tell me. What's the problem with group uh, the first sample? Group one? There is no problem statement here. Good. So there's no problem statement. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 like there's nothing claimed. There's no claim here. We only have data, which makes no meaning. There is no inference. Drawing conclusions from the data is inference, as we discussed earlier, also, right? Uh, the second one. Let's go to the second one. This group like the second one, right? Yes. Okay, let's see what we have in the second one. Why did you like? Let's go to that note. So if it's a problem, uh, problem solution uh, format. format, then we have situation with some data, and we also like this the sale. Okay. And then we have the problem. The problem statement in the next page. Yeah. This drinks me <clears throat> when we don't want caffeine content. This is the long term effects. This drinks vary widely in both caffeine content and caffeine concentration. Since the long term effects of this high level caffeine are not known, there's a chance that there's a hypothesis also. Okay, so we can say there is something mentioned. Anyone who could find any problem with the second one because the others have chosen third, fourth, and fifth, and mixed. There could be problems. I'm not saying that's a perfect one. Feel free to speak up. Yeah. Huh? Too long and so much data. Too long and unnecessary data, that's yeah. what you mean? Yes. Let's have a look again. <clears throat> Which data you think too long and unnecessary? Yes? Okay. Okay, so we got lots of red flags there, right? The second red flag is too much citations, or let's say uh, that's the point. Let's we'll talk about it later. We have citation in today's class. Another is unnecessary data. Uh, 
Don't worry, I'm not saying it. They are saying it, I'm just writing it down. I'm not saying it. it's, it's the correct answer. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I don't want them to feel bad, that's why I said that. <laughs> uh, that's also true. Uh, just joking. Uh, anything else you wanted to say? Now we're thinking about the like, With the second one, okay. still we didn't decide your claims are correct or not. So you made I some claims. I have a question. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, I, I was discussing with them that for me it was like sort of the best because I started to narrowing down the thing like that they want to state. Yeah. But there is also like too much numbers, uh, so we can get confused in those numbers. But also like as we are in the STEM side, so it makes sense to have numbers, but to which point we can like peak. Okay, so how to make this balance? We'll come to a conclusion after this, uh, I mean, after studying all those five samples. Yeah, <clears throat> then we'll come to a general common space. We all might agree with that. No? Um, got two points, right. Okay, so we'll, I, I, I will share my opinion after we are done with the five. Okay, I'm just now pointing out what you all found out. Number three, what problem do we have with number three? One. Now, two less data, <laughs> right? So when we don't give data, you'd say two less. Makes sense. It's too short. That was oh, too long, right? Yeah, one is too long. The, the previous one was too long. Yeah, this is too short. This is too short. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Anything else uh, that, yeah? Like, so we choose the third one. So like the positive side of it, like it's very yes. short and compact. And also like it has a little bit of data also, like it's mentioning, like because in the question they are asking like the general, like general idea and uh, people are discussing about this. They, are, they just need a general background. Like, mm -hmm. so That's the point, like, right? So it, it is giving the general background and why it is simply the other description. And then it is also mentioning that uh, it, can be no possible it has the problem statement also. Yeah, yeah. So in the second sample and the third sample, we have the claim or the problem statement. Anything the final group has to say about the third one? Did you guys like it? Yeah. So you chose the third one. No. You chose the third one and they were confused between the third and the fourth maybe, right? So three and four, both of the samples uh, were your options. Gotcha. Makes sense. Okay, so you are saying it has a little background. It has a problem statement. Uh, it's not like it doesn't have any data. It has whatever was needed to mention the problem. That's what your point is. And very precise. Makes sense? Let's go to the fourth option. I have, I have another point. Like, I feel like the data, it's okay, but it's about money, not health issues. So it's, for me, nice it's point. not related. So it has... The previous one, the second one was on? Caffeine, please. Okay, so that's a different argument, good. So we have the caffeine consumption data here, which, are fed here. which we do not have in the third option. We do not have, we only have the monetary aspect, um, billion dollars and all that, right? The consumption of it, but not the caffeine element in energy drinks. Point. Good. The fourth, uh, the final group like the fourth, you guys like the fourth one, right? Yeah, go on with the positive or negative things that you want to highlight. It has problem statement and they summarize the data and they have the original statement that directly takes to the second. Okay, so we have hundreds of energy drinks have been introduced in the market along with this growth. Clearly, the demand for caffeine, which varies widely in these drinks, is insatiable. Public health crisis is about to emerge. There is a visible problem in this problem statement. Can anyone say that? Should I repeat? There is a visible problem in the problem statement. Is it boosting? No, we can use boosting. It's not like we cannot use boosting if we have the exact data. Uh, not necessarily we must always use hedging. Uh, we can use boosting. This is not a problem, but it is less encouraged. However, the problem with this problem statement is. Thank you. Please go ahead. No, I'm not sure. Like, so you said, like, if 
we mean something uh, like uh, like mystery and stuff. We like we, this is repeating two times the line, like which mean meaning the same. Oh, circular reasoning. Yeah. Very good. Now here we what we don't have. What I was about to say something else actually, but that's also a point. What you're saying. I was about to say that. Uh, my question to that group who liked this one. So it's a question. I'm not giving my opinion. My question is. Are you convinced about the public health crisis based on this summary or because you read the earlier three samples so you are convinced that there is a health crisis? You know what I mean? After reading only this, forget about the first three samples. What health crisis do you find here? Am I making sense? You have a health, a health crisis in your mind because you read the previous three samples. But only if you read this one, actually, it doesn't make sense why suddenly the health crisis point came up. Unless you mention the element of caffeine and then the problem of caffeine. Make sense? The fifth one. Anyone who liked the fifth one? Oh, this group, right? Yeah. You, oh, so we like the fifth one. Oh, you guys like fourth and fifth, right? So it's fine. Yeah, so what did you like in the fifth option? Well, it was like the general idea of this So it's, it's uh, energy drink consumption is growing rapidly. Researchers do not know the long and short term effects. of caffeine and other additives in these drinks. So we might soon face a health crisis. Any problem that you find in the fifth option? No? That's a problem? Okay. Now here they summarize in just three sentences, if I'm not wrong, correct? So we have three sentences and you're saying the data is less where we get the amount of caffeine or the consumption of, the number of consumption or the economic connected to it, right? That's what you are saying. Makes sense, right you are. So all five of them had some issues. Yeah, this is question. The statement says that researchers don't know Connected or convincing. Makes sense, right? You are. Thank you. I may ask your name. Sorry. Nam, Nam. Oh, Namdi. Am I pronouncing it right? Cool. So, it's, what Namdi is making a point is whenever it's very abrupt, that's what you mean. Suddenly making a point of public health crisis without a little background how caffeine can or how other additives are added there or a little data. That's the same thing perhaps you all in, in, uh, infer, right? Since a little background might be needed. So five of them had issues. Not all of them were perfect. If you ask me, I would not have chosen any five of them. So that would be my response to it. But it's fine. So now we have a little bit of idea, right? How summaries should be the amount of it. Usually if you ask anyone about the amount of it, theoretically, it's one third of the original text. When you have to summarize the text, usually we do it one third portion of the original text. Uh, but yet, yet, I mean, yesterday it was an in-class performance, so I'm not uh, restraining anyone about the size of yesterday's summary that you all attempted. Now, another sample that we'll look into for a deeper idea. Now we got the surface level structure of summary. For a deeper idea, I would request all of you to move to task 14. Task 14 is... Right? 
right here. If you type 210, it should take you to this page. Oh no, I'm wrong. Not to And I'm there. Two, two, four. No, page two, three. Sorry, yeah. Got it. Yes, we are here. Page two, three, three. And if you're following the hard copy book, that's a different page. Yeah, if you're on per user, then that's the page. If you're on hard copy, then the page number is 221. 221, please. Yes, we do. We do. And that should be clear. You know what I mean when I say clear? So when I was reading all of your summaries, so when I was reading, I was so two voices we had. I'm not saying the grammar aspect I feel that's voice. I mean my voice and what I read, one or ten or hundred articles to write or to reach any conclusion. These two voices should be very clear and we often mix up voices. So when we read, is it you saying it or you read somewhere, that's why you're saying it. It's not clear mostly. And it happens with everyone, whether I'm a professor or I'm a student. You know what I mean? It's it, this distinguishing between these two voices that we have to be very careful about and we'll practice that during this course. Yeah, I'll comment also when these things come up and how to avoid that. And I'll give you feedback on your summaries and also today's and next few classes. We'll practice more things on that. So let's see. Task 14, we have this. And the next page has some instructor comments on that summarization. That's part of literature review. When we summar uh, do summarization, when we write literature review, previous scholars, whatever we have studied, we are summarizing that. And also we are saying our own opinion in between possibly, making inferences. So making inferences means you're making your own claims within those summaries. And we have some comments here. So we will read those comments based on whatever was written earlier. And after reading these comments, the writer, the writer changed the summaries. Now what we have here, it's not one summary. If you deeply look into it, there are multiple citations, right? So multiple summarization has been performed. Make sense? Many scholarly articles have been summarized and uh, in a very cohesive way possibly it was blended. Good. So now we'll study which one we like, the previous version after the instructor's comment, what problem it has. After the instructor's comments, what things change the whole scenario? Can we identify those changes or not? And then we'll try to make some points, what things we should follow then and what we should avoid as well. And in a similar pattern, after reading this, you will discuss with your peers and then we'll discuss together. I would request Namdi to join a group. Uh, Shravan's group has one member left right we have three here so you guys are three now so we have an even classroom of three odd numbers <laughs> in every group one two three four four groups are we clear about the instruction we'll do the same thing we'll read the raw passage we'll read the instructions then we'll see after the instruction what was edited and what things we can find in that in, in that uh, latter product.
Marcos. I'm lucky that my office is in the same floor. We're done? Discussing? No. Have we discussed with each other? No. We need to discuss always. <laughs> always, I mean, throughout our life, not in this course only. That's how we become good academic or good researcher. Whenever we write, we show it to people, we get feedback, we give feedback, we share opinion, we develop our writing. That's how it happens. Yeah. Oh, another thing. Sorry to interrupt. When you're discussing uh, how this literature view, which has a beginning, which has a conclusion. And in between, we see lots of references and arguments on its way to be developed. So which model you think, or which models could be plural, have been used in this short literature review? Was it organized chronologically? Or is it thematic? Or is it methodological or theoretical? The definitions of these models also written here in the slide. If you click on the slide in Canvas, you can access also this slide. Uh, let me just give you a little brief. I do not go slide by slide while teaching. Perhaps you got it already. I prefer an engaging, interactive classroom. Slide by slide pedagogy is good when I'm recording alone. You know, online courses, record alone, upload, people will see it. Then I go slide by slide. But if I have audience, I prefer a performative interactive classroom. So I do not go side by side, but the slides will be always there. So you access on your own, uh, all are grad students, so you all are self-motivated. I don't have to motivate you about academic writing. It's just giving you a little brief why I do not go slide by slide, okay? So when we'll be discussing with each other, the way this literature review is organized. So we try to find out, was it chronologically developed or thematically connected or only theoretically? Or uh, it has the methodological organization. So what was the pattern of this organization? Could be one or two or more embedded in this organization structure. Okay, now the floor is yours. Group discussion starts. Yeah, I was in, uh, I think, uh, first, 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 first,
while in the second retina, he now shifted to, he or she shifted to focusing on the topics or the team that we study in the postdoc. Yes, we had a look at what they talked about. It was caused the last year, the second focus uh, on how what the individuals were doing for the postdoc and what they commanded. So more like not general study now, but like topic wise or theme wise. Yes, please. Uh, what are they saying? It's not like this. Uh, what they want to discuss for the second one. Now, what will you discuss? They will discuss the changes that you perceive for oh, fixing in the second version after, after the comments. And if you have more comments, you can discuss that and share with me that. Yet, few gaps are remaining there that would have been improved or. Uh, the comments, if you have comments on the comments, that you can share as well. That that comment doesn't make sense. Instead of just explaining other stuff. Yeah, I feel like, like when I feel like when we all are right, we have like certain ideals that we need to study, and then we try to make something. But I feel like that's the part that we're going to regret. Yeah. You'll we'll just share an observation <laughs> on the first <laughs> doubt and then.
Are we done? Discussing with each other? Good. Awesome. So let's share. Are we ready to share with the class? Let's begin. So what do you think about the instructor's comment, first of all? Yeah? I'm not asking any particular group, feel free to speak up. Anyone can. Most of the comments make sense. Yes. The first. We knew about it. The first one we think that because it's different, you have only the skills of this particular thing. So is it important like they No, that was a question. If you can see the comment, that's a question. Can you include more if needed? So I hope that answers your yeah. question, right? So it's sometimes you might not need more. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And if there is a scope to include more, that gives a strong basis mm -hmm. to your paper, definitely. Mm -hmm. The more previous studies you include, the more the stronger your evidence or your claim will be. Uh, so that's why they asked it, that maybe the first draft used only three. So the instructor or whoever was giving feedback said, if you can include more, yeah? Mm -hmm. What else? All good with the instructor's comment. Nice. So let's let's have a look at this second draft. We'll not look into the first draft. Any observation on the second draft? Yeah. Speak up, please. <clears throat> yeah. Anything? So uh, first observation is that I think the now connection and where there is overlap between. So we have a flow, that's what you Yeah. Right? right? In the first draft, we didn't have a situation sentence. Yeah, I couldn't, even as a leader, I couldn't figure out what the first. What was happening in the first draft. But here we got it. Okay, so acoustic environments are unpleasant. Now, the organization, what would you say? Was it chronological? Was it methodological? Was it thematical, theoretical? How would you categorize it? Anyone has any other observation? Please. Nice. Okay, so why would you say thematic? Well, uh, so I, I said that because I think uh, it gives clarity to the theme of each study or what each researcher has done. So it's more like topic specific than just the study. I got your point. So actually tomorrow we'll talk about topic, theme, and thesis statements. Then perhaps this concept will be more um, strong. I mean, this concept will be clearer tomorrow, I hope. Thematic, this, this has one theme only. Acoustic environments, unpleasant. It doesn't have many other themes. Mm -hmm. Now what we have, yes, we have different theories. We have different methods in those theories mm. that those theorists apply or researchers apply. So I would say methodological organization and uh, theoretical as well. Yeah, so that's the second observation. Now let's move on to the organization flow. So you can see multiple pay, uh, uh, theories were cited. That means you're summarizing or paraphrasing certain points, right? It's not like you read one paper and you only summarize that paper. You have read four or five and you came to a conclusion after reading maybe four or five or 10. And that conclusion you are writing in two, three sentences and then citing multiple authors, right? Did we get this? Yeah, that's very interesting to see when you summarize multiple papers and cite also multiple papers. The next point is the way it was ended. Anyone has any observation on that? What is that? Right here, sentence 9, 18, 19. What observation do you have on the ending? 
think it's going to Okay. Anyone else? Yes, you're saying something. It goes more naturally into the current study that the author is going to perform because there's a gap in literature. So why the study is conducted later? So in literature review, we do not only summarize or reach a claim. We also mention the gap. Now this is called. Uh, so there are three moves. There are three moves uh, in introduction or literature review. Sometimes introduction and literature review are blended. I also said that in the earlier class. So what are the three moves? The first, you situate the background. The second, you mention the gap. And the third move is how my paper will fill up this gap. This is a different topic, we'll talk about it later. Now we are talking about, you're talking about the context, move one. The situation move to what's the gap in that situation if the literature review is this then I'm expecting your paper will fill up this gap what's the gap so unclear why certain sounds are this so maybe after reading your paper you have come up with something that will clear this unclarity make sense so that's the purpose of the literature review we ended and we are clear about move two, the gap statement. So whatever 100 people, 20 people, or in the last 10 years, 20 years, whatever research have been performed, the gap that you find, your paper is addressing that gap and filling up that gap, and how we, we occupy that gap, that is the main thing of yours. All good? Yeah? Now let's move to... Click on Canvas Evaluating Summarization. We all can see each other's writings now. Choose one person from your group. You'll give feedback like the instructor's comments on the summarization. You're free to give any professional feedback. Do not give any personal feedback. Choose anyone from your group. You can see all the writings up there. You can comment on the language or the structure. Just give feedback on the summarization. We all could see. If I have missed anyone, let me know, I'll add. If any summary that, I, that you all submitted but I didn't add in this particular section. You all could access Canvas? If you need, you can have it more. If I give you any task on the book, I'll give it to you. We got it? Confusion? You are allowed to uh, write there, or if you do not have access, let me know. Now, the instruction is you have to write a feedback. Now, something that we are not discussing. Now we are writing. Huh? For my group. Any one person from your group. Okay. Choose only one person from your group. And you can discuss among each other who is choosing whom. Like because three so members are there. Choose one or just three to the same. No. You can choose one person. And the other two should choose the others. So one one. One. I mean, not everyone is attacking one person. We all are giving feedback to each other. Make sense? <laughs> Make sense? <laughs> yeah, we'll choose one person from the group so that we make sure everyone is getting one feedback at least. Yeah, you can write there. Can you? So reply. You cannot. Yeah, you can write a reply, right? Yes. Yeah, it's a discussion. It's not an assignment submission like the previous one. Yeah. There should be a reply box. Yeah, yeah, just write and reply. Right. So you're choosing another home that So it's yeah. Any confusion with the instructions? Good. Use your 
your today's experience, the samples that you've read, things we have discussed, try to find out those gaps in your, in your friends or peers, right? <clears throat> and few comments that I don't consider as comments. Awesome, interesting, very good. These are not comments or feedback, <laughs> okay? So I know this is part of kind of a culture when people say something, we, uh, with courtesy we reply, but that's not the purpose. We are here to learn, so it's fine. Do not say bad or any other harsh words. Just give proper feedback so that we all can grow.
Are we done? It's a very short text, so I don't think it would take much time. Your comment will be longer than the original text? <laughs> is there anyone whose comment is long? It's fine, even if it is, I'm just asking. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, the instructor's feedback is longer than the text you sent me. Yeah, that's fine. Or even if your friend wants to read it, he or she cannot read it because we don't send this. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, that technology hasn't developed yet. <laughs> that you can read even before, let's say, when you see in WhatsApp or social media, someone is typing. So it shows you, right? Someone is typing. But what someone is typing, you don't see that. So that technology is yet to be developed. That before submitting, I cannot see a response. Someday that might happen. That'll be fun. When you can see what someone is typing. Yeah. You can guess multiple options what someone is typing. <laughs> we all are done? Yeah? Then let's get back. Or you need more time. Let me know if anyone needs more time. This group? Who all submitted? This group? Well done. The last two groups? Still on it? How much time should I? Two minutes? Yeah. Fair enough. Those who are done, uh, can you look at the screen? So we have here five gaps. I'm just double checking our tense sense, the sense of tense. Uh, I assume we all are quite okay with it. Just some, uh, I would say, brushing up our tense modes. So we have five examples and the verb is given, investigate except the fifth one, for this the verb is appear. Or here we have study, whatever. So the verb is given in every gap, for, for every gap. Then we have to identify the tense. So should I write here, have investigated, will investigate, or investigated? Only five samples. The reason I need this, so that I can understand my class. And based on that, I can help you also. So don't worry about errors. Relax. And you don't have to write. We can discuss it verbally right now. But before saying it to me, discuss with your peers in the group. And it should not take more than a minute. The time starts. Five samples. Discuss with your peers. Thank you. 
need to investigate them. So, so this is the first time so many of us. So, we have seen where people are actually trying to do that. They use names and skills. They may. You have seen this about places. People might have to like this. Maybe you could tell them what you're going to do. Yes, so that's what they're going to say. But the number two is clearly yeah, well, yeah, because it's a real problem. Yes, that's what they used to do. Yeah, 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 that's what they used to do. Done? We got confused while discussing? <laughs> yeah? It's fun to have multiple screens, everyone is looking everywhere. There's a new film I, I, I don't think have you all watched. Everything Everywhere All at Once. Uh, it won Oscar as well this year. That's what's happening here. Everyone is looking. <laughs> Using all the screens that we have. Done? Sorry? Oh, it's beaver. No verb. So it's Amizar was where, whatever. You want to use beaver. So for the fourth one, we don't have an action verb, but an auxiliary verb we'll use. Nice. So let's discuss together. We don't have much time. The first one, group one. Plus simple. Group two? Same. Group three? Investigate. I'll look at there, okay. <laughs> Stew and pass, perfect. All of you agree with that? Pass, perfect. Oh, present perfect. I need a class on it. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I need to, uh, yeah, we should have us. Let me give her some time. Okay, the second one, let's see. Let's move on. Let's not, I should not jump to conclusion with the first option. The second one. Have been investigated. So you're saying have been investigated. Present, perfect, passive. Uh, the group, what's the second group? Sorry? We're investigated. So past, simple, passive. We're investigated, past, simple, passive. Same. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I was actually anyway. The third option. It's fine. It's fine. I just so that I can know everyone in a better way from a grammatical approach. The third one. Have studied. Group one said have studied. Group two. Same. And see. Have studied. So now you are saying present perfect. Earlier you said past simple passive, <coughs> right? So uh, what logic do you think of? I'm not saying you guys are wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I just want a discussion. So what logic makes us decide when I should use, I got it, active passive we understand, but what I'm saying is when we should use past simple or past perfect or present perfect, or whatever you see, I mean, it sounds good, or you know, yeah, yeah you will gut feeling or instinct. Got it. Sometimes. Got it. The fourth option, I guess we all will agree with this. Anyone has any other option? Huh? Where complex? Okay, where complex? They said R, you also R. Fourth group? R? Yes. Oh, oh, you said where? Uh, All of you? Uh, or, or, okay. I think R. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to agree with the mass. It's not like that. It doesn't work like that. 
the fifth one. Delays, plural, so it's yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll share my answers later, <laughs> not today. Let's not, because that discussion will go on. I thought it would be just one shot go. But we have to discuss why, you know, I have to explain why not past or present perfect or this and all that. So we'll do it in the next class, but we're not done yet. We have two minutes left. Uh, I'll try to explain that, by the way. It's not like I won't. Just before that, I need to share this particular thing, which is very important. In Canvas, we have a home task, paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is we change everything. And even if we summarize, it's, it's kind of an Notre Dame law or anywhere in the, in the university level, we talk about plagiarism. So the, way, the reason we summarize and paraphrase and cite, because we do not want to commit that crime, which is plagiarism. Now the point is, even if we summarize, even if we paraphrase, we have to cite, Summarization and plagiarism, uh, summarization and paraphrasing do not take away the law that you don't have to cite anymore. You have to cite. Whether it's double quoted someone's research or you have summarized or paraphrased totally your words, yet some, you have to cite. Now citation can happen in various ways. The next slide, which is on citation in Canvas, you can see that. Uh, it varies from discipline to discipline, university to university, MLA, FBA, uh, or Harvard and Chicago style. So what I'm saying, you'll find all the rules and links in that slide. I'm not, that's a very technical class, so I'm not lecturing on citations particularly. There are integral citation, non-integral citation. What is integral and non-integral? For instance, uh, this is integral citation. When we write the citation in this manner, when the agent is there, for example, ABC suggested that. So the agent is there, the researcher activity as the agent of the sentence. The other examples are, for instance, non integral citation. And both are correct. It depends on, this, um, it varies from discipline to discipline or style. Non integral is when we talk about the subject as noun rather than the researcher activity as agent. So it's in parentheses. We do not write. XYZ said that, investigated that, suggested that. We have that in parentheses as in text citation. So that's called non integral. Uh, these are the two main citation styles. Now there are various other styles the way you want to cite it, page number you want to mention, publication year, writer's first name, last name, whatever. So that's the link is here in this slide from where we just attempted the tense task, which I'll discuss in the next class, uh, why and which tense shall we use and when. Now, we have a paraphrasing task in Canvas that you'll submit, not right now, before tomorrow's class. What we have here, we have four short, four or three, one, two, three. So we have only three texts, which is a little different than summary. I hope you all know. Summary, you, all, you already did. This is paraphrasing means you have to change everything. But take the whole concept. You're not making your own concept. You're not making an inference. You're just changing the whole subject verb agreement structure, sentence structure, so that I understand your grammatical level in a deeper way. For example, I just got to know about the tense. So I need to know why you are laughing. No, no, it's not. A, I, I'm not. I, I'm not criticizing. <laughs> so it's in a good way. In a good way. I mean, I need to know the class. So I got the sense. Okay. So what should we talk about when we talk about tense? Now I need the sentence structural uh, analysis of the students in this class. So any question? Yeah, just like uh, so you saying paraphrasing. We are not inferring anything, right? We are not. No, don't make inference here. So it's a. Everything is saying we are just changing the yes. Just use your own language. Which is difficult actually. And you 
and if it uh, i would suggest do not quote because no you can do that right you can just put double quote here and you don't have to change anything no that's not the task the task is change everything possible except the proper nouns let's say my name i cannot change it now so it's it's there it's there right or a, a country's name or a region or state's name that's fine but other than that the grammatical yeah can we arrange this Surely, you can make the first sentence, last sentence, last sentence, first sentence. That's also fine. And that one should do. That's the best way of uh, paraphrasing, by the way, when you rearrange the whole structure. So that's the task. Only three samples we have. Change whatever possible. And do not quote. You, we don't need to quote. That's not the task. So that's all for today. We'll see each other tomorrow.